Fellow citizens, during large-scale public processions over the past two Sundays, people have expressed in a peaceful and rational manner their concerns about the Fugitive Offenders Ordinance and their dissatisfaction and disappointment with the government, especially me. I have heard you loud and clear and have reflected deeply on all that has transpired. The concerns over the past few months have been caused by deficiencies in the work of the SAR government over the amendment exercise. I personally have to shoulder much of the responsibility. This has led to controversies, disputes, and anxieties in society. For this, I offer my most sincere apology to all people of Hong Kong. To those young people who have participated peacefully to express the views, let me say, I understand you expect your chief executive to listen to different voices and to respect and care for young people. Connecting with young people was one of my commitments in the election manifesto. I know that we all want Hong Kong to be a caring and well-governed society with hope. I know you have different concerns and views about social issues, yet we share the same passion for Hong Kong. This incident has led me to realize that I need to do more. I truly hope that those injured can fully recover soon and that the rift in society could be quickly mended. Hong Kong is our home. It is only by walking together as one community and by staying closely connected that we can bring hope for Hong Kong.